is something new and troubling. Haven failed this time but survived and says she'll try to cross again soon. Adam Parsons, Sky News. A baby who was rescued from her mother's womb in Gaza at the weekend has died today. The family's home was hit by an airstrike in the southern city of Rafah, where Israeli airstrikes have been stepped up in the last week. Ahead of an expected full offensive, they've also been massing armoured vehicles at the nearby Karem Shalom border crossing. But there are still hopes of negotiations, with Egypt saying they're sending a high-level delegation to Israel. A warning, this report from our Middle East correspondent, Alistair Bunkle, has video of the baby who died being buried and while she was in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrine al roh Jordas' short and tragic life came to an end on Thursday. She was five days old. Her uncle, who had hoped to bring her up, spent every day by her bedside, praying for her recovery. Instead, he buried her. <coughs> Next to her father, who was killed in the airstrike that hit their home on Saturday night. I received a phone call from the Emirati hospital. He asked me if I am responsible for the baby, the daughter of the martyr Sabrina al-Sakani. I said, yes, I am. He told me that her health condition was very bad and she passed away. I ran to the hospital. I could not bear the shocking news. All the members of my brother's family are gone. Baby Sabrine was born by emergency caesarean over the weekend and named after her mother, who didn't survive the airstrike minutes beforehand. Her father and her sister also died when the Israeli missile hit their family home. The tiny girl was kept alive in an incubator, but she weighed less than a kilo and a half and her lungs hadn't fully formed. For a few days, she was the only survivor of an airstrike that had wiped out an entire family. We hoped that she would stay alive to remind us of her mother and father and that we would raise her and be happy with her and always remember them. My son and daughter were martyred. Sabrine was martyred with her brother. Over the past week, there has been an increase in airstrikes on Rafa. Many civilians, including Sabrine, have been killed. Israel is also massing military hardware in the south of the country, ready for the invasion of the city. The operation is still likely some weeks off because almost one and a half million Gazans are seeking refuge in Rafa. But the preparations are clearly underway. There have been many dark days in Gaza over recent months, but it's certain that there are more in the days ahead. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, in Jerusalem.